Love is the answer. When you're feeling down, love is the answer. When fear has taken over, love is the answer. When you're lying on the floor in a pool of despair, love is the answer. When the world looks scary and mean and unjust, love is the answer. The seeds of love are planted in your soul, beautiful. So come inside and eat their fruits and be nourished by their goodness. Because when you are filled with love, you will give it freely to others and help grow the beautiful, diverse garden of love around the world, where all of us can bloom in our own special way. So come into your breath the reliable rhythmic giver of life that enters and exits without fail. Breathing in, breathing out, feeling it fill you up every time you inhale and relax you further every time you exhale. Now, slow it down. Elongate the breath each time. Breathing in deeper, breathing out longer, and feel your body slow down. Feel your mind slow down. Feel time slow down. As you settle deeply into this soft, slow rhythm. Now, see if you can imagine all the things that feel unsettling for you right now. The challenges, the anxieties, the fears. Letting go can be a frightening concept, especially if our idea of the universe is one of chaos and of constant random change, or if our idea of God is a punishing and judgmental God, or no God, or a God who has become fed up with me, or with the world that has turned away, or perhaps a God like my father or my mother. With a universe like any of the ones described above, I'd be a fool to let go. It would mean death, or something in the direction of death. It would mean the world that I've been building up would probably crash down around my ears, leaving me hopeless and alone, and probably too old to start again. It would mean that this COVID-19 pandemic would win. The Veda tells us that change is constant and that the nature of the relative world is continual change, always. Like the weather in Montana, if you don't like it, wait a few minutes and it will change. But the Veda also tells us that the changing nature of the universe is always progressive. Evolution is the only thing that is ever happening here, always like rivers always flowing downstream, regardless of how many curves and meanderings they may take, they always reach the ocean. Downstream flow is the nature of water, and evolution is the nature of consciousness. Consciousness cannot help but evolve. It cannot help but expand, widen, deepen, grow. This is its very nature. Though we may resist it or ignore it, or pretend it isn't so, in fact, it is. It always has been. It always will be. But what about now, when the whole world seems to be falling apart? We may not have an answer yet to this question, but we can know that whatever is happening, consciousness is being served. Evolution is occurring. 